Hey YouTube, it is Easy Prepper 101, and today I'm going to give you my views and opinions of the North American Arms Pug T 22 Magnum Revolver. One of the reasons why I chose this gun was because I liked how small it is. That this is a gun, in my opinion, that you can literally carry 365 days a year for how small it is. You could put it in your pants pocket with us going into the summertime. If you have the cargo pockets in your shorts, you can put it in there. I do have a holster for this gun, so you can put it, you know, in your back of the waist so it won't leave an imprint. As you can see in this shot right here, I have I do have a night sight on the gun. Now, this gun does have some downfalls to it. It's a five shot, and for you to shoot it, you have to pull the hammer back, as you see in this picture right here, cock it back, pull the trigger, there's your first shot, and you have to do that four more times. And this gun is only allows you to carry five rounds. And this isn't a gun where you're quickly able to drop the cylinder and put a new one in. It's a very hard process. It's one of those things where you fire the five shots, that is it. And this is a gun that I would feel comfortable if I had ever had to use this, would shoot under 10 feet. So please keep that in mind when you're looking at this gun. So we're gonna be getting ready to go over the specs of the gun now. As you can see, I created a specs of the entire gun. So as you can see, this is the North American Arm Pug T Revolver. The caliber is a 22 Magnum round it has a five shot capacity it has an extra small tritium sight it has a slip-on rubber pebble grip the length is just a little over four and a half inches the width is just a little over an inch the height is 2.8 inches the weight is 6.4 ounces it has a one inch barrel length and it's a single action now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you into the range. We're gonna have a target set up at 10 feet and we're gonna put five rounds down range and show you what this gun can do. At the same time, you wanna reach up with that thumb, hold this a little bit and take the pressure off the back. You gotta, right here. You have to take a little bit of There you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to load the Pug 22. As you can see, uh, the, the cylinder is empty. And like I said earlier in the video, that it, it's very difficult um, if you had to, if you fired your five shots to reload, you have to quickly kind of slide it in there. And then you're ready to go. But then if you want it to unload, it's quick. Drop it out. And then if you had an extra cylinder, you know, you're trying to get it in there. Good to go so there's a little demonstration of how to load it and unload it and we did a still shot to where to um show its safety is you're going to kind of keep it safe like that and sorry for the dogs barking in the background what happens is i'm going to use the little pin here this cylinder is empty this cylinder is empty this shows that the gun is safe and this is in the instruction books for the north american arms pug 22. Well, as you can see, with the Pug T22 in my hand, it's very small, very easy to conceal, and that's one of the reasons why I like this gun. And when I bought this gun and I brought it home and showed my wife, my wife didn't call it the North American Arms Pug T22. She called it the Noisy Cricket because it's from a very famous movie, because if you remember that movie, the Noisy Cricket packed a real punch and it was loud. So that's what this gun reminded her, especially when I took her out shooting with it. So in my household, it is called the Noisy Cricket and not the Pug T-22. Well, this is gonna wrap up the video for the North American Arms Pug T-22. So I really hope you guys liked this review and please stick around for next week. We are gonna be talking about the Caltech P-32. I'm really excited about this video for next week because my dad, is going to be doing uh, this video because this is the gun that he carries and I really want to collaborate with my dad on this. So uh, hopefully you guys like the video. Give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If not, 
please write any comment sections down below. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.